At last, a sunny day in Sammamish. This is the new home. Yet inside, Eric Dalzell made dark discoveries. It was a shocker. It was definitely a shocker. This is now his home and his deck filled with dog feces. Right now, it's pretty unsanitary and super unsafe to be walking around here. This is his kitchen. Lovely way somebody lives. Lots of pizza boxes. But laying on top of one of those boxes, a photo of the man who used to live here. Former Sonics top draft pick Robert Swift owned this house. Faced with the threat of eviction last week, he left the foreclosed home. But so much was left behind that needed to be removed. Holes in the wall. Either a bat hit it or a fist hit it. Piles of trash overflowing everywhere. It's pretty foul in here. It uh, smells like a lot of stale still rotting beer. First thing you get when you walk in the door is kind of a whiff of whatever is festering in here. Downstairs, there was a box filled with letters from big time college programs talking about scholarships and majors. Some of them were never even opened. Swift went right into the NBA from high school. The couple also found knives and other weapons around the house. Yeah, there's guns everywhere. And they were apparently used downstairs. It's almost like a body torso that they were shooting at. Bullets and BBs grazed load-bearing beams, and the foundation was seemingly used to stop the slugs. I think I'll be fine in shell casings for the next month and a half, two months. The Dalzells just wish they could have helped Robert. He never came to the door. He never talked to any of us. We came multiple times. We sent him letters. We left him letters. A life of promise, leaving behind the tarnished hopes of what could have been.